Hello, so I wanted to show you a good outfit to hike in and material that's good and clothes that are good and I've used and really like and I have a system if you will that works well. So first we see a hat. Uh, it's I like to hike, hike in a hat because you know it provides you shave and more importantly, it keeps the bugs out of your hair and keeps twigs and branches and anything else out of your hair and whatnot. So, that's good. I like hiking with that. You know, this hat has awesome ventilation because, you know, you shoot it through it and it, uh, it's like all nylon and polyester and whatnot. So, this is a cool hat. So, that's good. That's step one of my hiking outfit. What I'll do is when I get out there, and once I get into the woods, um, I'll carry a bandana, and what I'll do is I'll wear this around my head with my hat on. I'll have it in my pocket for most of the hike or until I need it, really, but um, I just fold this like that from corner to corner. And I'll sling it around the back side of the hat, which protects my neck. This back side of the hat. And I'll just tie it in the front. And it'll stay in the front here if I give it two ties. And that will protect the side of my face so that bugs won't attack me. It will protect my ears, behind my ears, and behind my neck, and everything. Yeah, this is cotton. Yeah, it will absorb some sweat, but it's not really fully on my neck all the time. It's loose enough where you know, that won't happen. But this works great. It does cut off my visibility from the side a little bit and from the top but other than that wearing a hat and this helps a lot at keeping the bugs out of your you know neck area I guess and you know if it's really bad I'll button up my shirt and fold the flap up and you know I'll button it up all good and it really the only way they're gonna get me is right at my face so that's part one, I guess. Set one. Section one. So, it seems that these work well for me. These are polyester wicking underwear, boxer briefs, whatever. Uh, brief, briefs, I think. I don't know. Tights. Spandex. But, you know, they do, they have some give in them. They're not super tight. And they wick really well. <laughs> so, I never get wet. Well, let's see what they got. Yeah, 100% polyester. So, and yeah, that's Hanes, X-Temp, whatever. Bought it at Walmart, and it was, it's great. It's working well. I've gone jogging in the rain, and once I come inside, this I'll dry off so quick well I mean I won't stay that wet when I go out running these you know these will just wick as I go but when I get back I'll be pretty darn dry you know if you wear cotton and do that you, they'll stay wet so that's you know base layer and that seems comfortable I don't chafe at all or anything and that's part of um, the being brief part and you know not causing friction between the skin then again we have um, I guess some shirt that I bought but again it's
100% polyester. So again, this will wick and this will stay dry. I mean, I'll go hiking and then, yeah, I'll get hot and sweaty because I'll be hiking with my backpack and that'll be wet, yes, but once I get my bag off, this will dry off and I'll be completely dry. So again, polyester. Hat is, I think it says it here actually. Oh. Okay, well the shell is 100% cotton, but the mesh is nylon. Nylon and polyester is good, but I guess this is cotton. And I'm fine with that because that's off my face and that's kind of off some of this, uh, that's nylon plastics threading, backing, or whatnot. But, yeah, polyester, polyester. And I won't usually hike up in a shirt, but once I get to camp and, you know, I'll settle down, bugs will come. So, on goes the shirt. And, look at that. Nylon and polyester again. This is lightweight, breathable, wickable, and it's awesome because I can wear long sleeve for protection from bugs and whatnot, but it's not heavy and it's not, it, and you know, won't get wet and sweaty and soak up a lot of water. So I'll stay dry and light. I won't have to, you know, carry on any extra wet clothes I don't need. And just in general, you know, and it's thin too, so I won't get too hot. It's very thin, actually. So it's not much warmth, but it is nice. And then, lastly, pants. Again. Uh, nylon, nylon. So, I guess wicking, um, breathable, not cotton, won't absorb water and sweat. There is some elastic, a little bit here, not too much, it's kind of worn out, I guess. I bought it used anyways, I'm fine with that. Belt was with it. Belt is awesome. They fit good when I um, first put them on, but then once I get hiking and I get all hot and sweaty and I'm carrying my backpack and my backpack is kind of pushing down on this, it'll, you know, it'll move down no matter how much I pull it up. My backpack will just shove that down in the back, um, just a little lower than I would like. And, you know, once I get into these and wear them, I could go a size down, but, you know, they, they do fit me fine, and, um, length's good. We have double knees here, well, uh, double f fabric on the knees, and they are, I love, I love when, uh, pants have that, when they cut in and adjust for the bend in your knee a little bit, so when you're standing, or anything else, they're already bent a little bit, um, and then at the bottom, they have this elastic thing on the, I'm not sure if I should tuck that up and that should be around my boot, or if that should be down, I, I don't really know, but, um, that's cool, I guess, I'm fine with it, and so that's cool. One butt pocket, which is zippered. And it's mesh on one side of it. The other side isn't, but I'm fine with that. I mean, it's good that it's zippered on the back. I like that. So I can put something in the back, and it'll be zipped, and I know it'll stay and stay out of the way. And in the front, front I think those are called cleats, or I'm not sure what that's called called and the fabric is folded over and stitched there, but uh, I guess it's still presentable. One pocket which is lined with that and it has that fabric on that side, 
But then at the bottom, the lower part of it, yeah, I'll pull the pocket out. The bottom part of it, you can see, is sewn on with that there. The second pocket closer to your body has the mesh on that one side, on the outside. On the inside, it's it's this fabric, so that'll be up against your skin. So you got two pockets, it's cool. What I'll do is I'll, well, I'm right-handed, but I'll take a knife and I'll clip it in between the two pockets. The knife will be in this one, basically, but the clip will be in here. So it's like, you know, extra secure, and you you know you won't snag it on something, which is awesome. I love. It just worked great. And I've carried, you know, the knife with me on a couple excursions, if you will. And it's, you know, stayed fine in my pocket. I haven't worried. I, you know, I didn't catch it halfway out of my pocket and, whoa, shove it back. None of that. So that's good. And the zipper is big and nice. The button is good and easy to button double pockets double knees no cargo pockets I would I would have kind of liked to have you know one pocket and then a cargo pocket on each side instead of these double ones but you know I'm fine with the double ones the double ones are working fine I haven't really needed to put much in my pocket I mean I'll put like a my a bandana my phone uh, I'll put my wallet uh, my knife in this pocket, and then maps, if I have maps, I'll put them in this pocket, my front right pocket, and then there's this other little coin pocket right here, and I'll put my Victorinox manager in this, um, and that'll stay Velcroed. Some paper in that pocket I didn't see. So that's nice, and um, this belt, I haven't successfully taken off. I'm fine with it staying on. Um, it's lightweight and thin, but yet nylon and sturdy and strong, so that's good. But I thought I would replace it with something a little bit wider so that it's a little more comfortable, but it's working fine. There's this extra belt loop here, however, but not on this side. I don't really know what's up with that. Oh! to put the extra fabric through into that, I guess. Whatever. But, so that's that. No gusseted crotch or anything, but inside there's not a lot going on. There's no, like, underwear mesh in this thing, which I'm fine with that. I'm actually happy that it's not in there. It's just extra bulk or whatnot. But, yeah, these are great pants. I do like them gotten dirty down here walking in the mud I don't know if you can tell but there's you know they're just a little dirtier down here at the end maybe I should get some gators I don't hike through a lot of mud and snow or anything but I guess I hike through enough mud to where they get dirty down to socks now the socks that I bought you know brand new are um, right here darn tough socks made in Vermont USA obviously and they are awesome they are super comfortable and they just like mold to my foot and um, they do slide down a little bit but that's fine I don't need them to stay up really I mean they don't they don't go underneath my boot underneath my heel or anything but just like this top part slides down a little bit, and that's fine. I don't worry too much about it. They're not too tall socks, but I didn't want really tall socks. But, man, are these good. You know, they got the stretch fabric here around for your arch so that they don't slide around. They have extra thick fabric for your toes up here and on the bottom. And then again for the heel. They have the extra padded fabric. And then it's thin again up here, thicker at the very top. And then it's thin at that ankle bend joint part there. And kind of right above where your toes join the 
your foot. But they're uh, super nice, super comfortable. Really good quality, and it's a tight stitch, too. Um, I guess the only problem is that they're kind of expensive. They were like $24 for, you know, just one pair of socks, which is uh, pretty expensive in my book for one pair of socks. But these are, you know, these are really good hiking socks, and they're super comfortable. Cool thing about these is... I saw in the box that it was, or the little cardboard packaging that it came with, lifetime guarantee. So I was like, whatever that means. But you get a hole in these, in your heel, in your toe, or anywhere, you know, stitches pop and break, and your foot can blister because of that or whatnot or basically you know these tear or rip get a hole in them you can go to well where these are sold and you can return them and they'll give you a new pair so I thought that was awesome because you can buy these once and then if they break which is kinda when you would need new socks at that point especially if it's you know your toe or heel and you, you return them and they'll give you new socks and you just keep on doing that for however long they last I guess so I've only used them uh, these socks hiking twice but they're really uh, really good I haven't worried about any of the stitching up here I've always found that socks um, kind of like thick stitching at the corners here by the toe and it's just uncomfortable, and I don't like that on my toes, personally, so I always, like, give them a twist so that it's on the side and not poking me on the top. But these are just super comfortable. So that's really good quality. And these, again, are, like, that Milena wool or something. I don't know, they're a blend of polyester, and basically they don't, they don't get, they're not cotton, they're not thick cotton socks, so they're uh, warm, comfortable, and they're like odor fighting too, so, you know, that's good too. And I will have gloves on, or try to wear gloves, depending on like how warm or hot it is. These are just mechanics gloves, I think they're just a little bit too big for me, but, um, you know, they fit and they work. It's just more comfortable hiking um, with the poles that I have I wear the wrist strap and it's more comfortable because you can put your weight on that too instead of just your grip on the poles so that is great I found that this to be more comfortable hiking with um, with my poles and with the pack that I have poles definitely help stabilize you and carry some of that load when you're hiking up especially the steeps you know on the flats you're doing nothing when you're walking with the poles, the poles don't do anything really. But these are these are awesome gloves. These are my medium duty gloves. <laughs> but that's my hiking outfit and those are clothes I suggest. Again, you can swap out the pants for shorts, that of the same nylon polyester blend stuff, that's good. <clears throat> And, you know, you don't have to do the button-up shirt, but, you know, in my region, and like I said, my system, it works where I can, you know, hike in just this t-shirt, and I'll wear a um, button-up, and, but, you know, once I get to the camp, I'll throw the button-up on, because I'm not hiking anymore, so I'm not getting any hotter. Also, at the camp, once I get there, you know, I'll, I'll throw on knee pads, but, uh... You know, that's when I get there. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, this past time I hiked with these on, and that's worked well. They are sweaty. Like, my knees will get sweaty wearing these, but, um, it's really great to have them, especially once I'm at the camp. These will definitely stay on as much as possible when I'm at the camp. Doing fire prep and setting up the tent and whatnot, it is just super comfortable to have these. I mean, they don't weigh that much. But yet, they give you a really nice um, 
comfort, so worth it in my book. So yeah, that is what I hike in, and it's comfortable, and I don't sweat. Well, I, I do sweat, but my clothes don't absorb the sweat, and that is perfect. That's what we want. <laughs> All right. So that's just my rant on clothing. Polyester, 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 nylon, nylon, nylon is basically the important part of this. You don't want to hike with anything but that. Especially if you're going out for longer stuff. I mean, if you're going on a walk through the woods, you don't really need tight-fitting you know, shirts and that are polyester, that wick. But it's definitely good when you're going on longer excursions. Alright, that's that. Thanks.